Okay, I thought I'd record a quick video here. This is a, a, a Z84 um, with a small flight controller in it, Omnibus F4 Pro. And if you look on the underside, under the tape here, we've got the uh, RXSR receiver, the brand new one with the access on it. The antennas, uh, one of them is just literally flat in a horizontal plane here in the wing the other one goes to a hole here pops up through the outside of that fin there that's just literally just kind of painted over to hold it in place against the side of the fin so it's a, a vertical so one horizontal one vertical in that case uh, i've got the brand new 2019 tyrannus gonna power it up welcome to open tx Okay, cool. Let it just start up. Telemetry is online. Let's rock and roll. Okay, cool. So, somebody said that if you start them too close to each other, the receiver might go into some sort of low power mode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, drag this across here. So, we're talking over there to here. I don't know if that counts as too close, but I'm going to now power up the model here. So, give me a second. I'll pass it while I plug it in. Here we go. So this thing is just... Right, cool. So maybe about mm, three and a half to four meters. GPS 3D fix lock. Stabilize flight mode. I have uh, the Yapu script on this. Cool. I'm just going to exit out of that. I'm now going to go menu once, page once, scroll to... From up from the bottom, past all the bind options here to the range option. Okay, now I'm four meters away and it's on 57, 58. I've got a vertical antenna, I'll make it even more vertical to 57, 58. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, I'm about four meters GPS away. GPS home acquired. Okay, and we're on 50. <laughs> 50 at four meters. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. Let's see, we're maybe about eight meters. Mm, maybe 10 meters, 12, down to 43. Okay, looking at that, what have we got there? 39, maybe 15, 17 meters, 39. I'm gonna back up a little bit further here. I'm trying to keep, maintain line of sight throughout this tire reversing motion here. And we've got 36. RF signal low. 33. I changed the uh, the warnings to be what was suggested, which are lower for the access compared to the ACCST. Okay, I'm still in line of sight with the RF model. RF signal critical. Right. Okay. 29. I'd say I'm about 25 to 30 meters away here, and I've got critical. RF signal low. Okay. I'm going to back up even further. signal critical right back it up even further RF signal critical okay RF signal low actually that's a bit better than what I was experiencing yesterday probably be 50 meters now RF signal low. 34. 33. RF signal low. Yeah, that's much better than it was yesterday. We'll leave it there. I think what that goes to show is that the scale is very different with access compared to ACCST. I managed to back up to about, I'd say 45 
to 50 meters there with it on the range test mode before it, um, well, it got to a critical level, but I could then back up a little bit further and it would still kind of maintain that level for quite a long time before it dropped off completely. Um, and that was on range test mode. So I'd say that's probably not bad. The difference between my testing today and yesterday when I had significantly worse results yesterday was that I had the plane slightly elevated today on a table where yesterday it was just sat on the ground in the grass. Uh, I got significantly worse results then. I'm going to go and fly just now to see if I can spot any real differences to what I had there. Um, Obviously I won't be in range test mode when I'm flying, so we'll get a proper appreciation of what um, is capable um, with a proper flight. So uh, my flying field is probably over 300 meters long. So uh, 300 meters um, sounds okay, but uh, to be honest on ACCST, I used to get uh, over a mile um, flying FPV. It would be the video signal that would uh, cause me to come back first rather than the ACCST signal running my uh, old XSR hyphen M uh, receiver in this same plane. So I'll give it a shot and we'll uh, come back with the results of that. Cheers. Right, cool. So, go. So at the moment, RSSI 90, ooh, 87 to 92, it's kind of around there. To the telemetry, it's 180 meters away, and the RSSI size down to 54 to 56. 200 meters, yeah, got 51. It's the RSSI, visibility of the flight. 31 now, 1100 meters, 32, 28. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. 27, 26. 35 as I was turning back around. Okay. Well, okay, so I think the final conclusion is it's very similar to ACCST. Um, I didn't actually fly to a point where I lost the signal completely, but it's very similar to ACCST in a range. I think I have no evidence to suggest that it's better than ACCST, as a uh, free sky would claim. But um, yeah, there's that. So yeah, I think um, if you are happy with your ACCST setups at the moment, I certainly wouldn't be switching to Axis. Um, I don't honestly see that many benefits, uh, unless you want to take, you know, use all of these new features that, uh, that exist inside of Access, sharing and so forth, and having your models configured on multiple radios and so forth. I certainly wouldn't, uh, unless you've got that in mind, I wouldn't jump out and switch over because it, I just really honestly don't see the benefits. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it at that.